begins at 4. Students from around the world, they're designing and building robots that will improve our lives. And today, the U.S. Navy hosted the 19th annual robotic submarine competition, and Jenny Day joins us now with a look. Hey, Jenny. Hey, for so many of these students, it is not just a fun competition where aspiring engineers get to build robots. Their ideas are capable of completing realistic missions, and they really could help change the world. So something I was personally involved with was the torpedo system, which is these pneumatic tubes that's compressed air in there. 350 students from 50 schools representing 11 countries have been preparing for months to let their submarines shine. It's really open to our imagination where we want to go. From design to manufacturing, these teams do it all. It can't weigh more than 125 pounds. As far as cost, there's no limit. All of these tubes and wires in this year's San Diego State sub cost $80,000. All money raised from optimistic sponsors after the team took home the gold last year. The way that computers have changed the information for all of us, I think we're now going to start to see uh, mechanical systems do the same thing for us. All of the hours are voluntary and doesn't count for any school credit. It's excitement. Uh, for me, it's excitement. It's a lot of fun because we finally get to see what all of our hard work is doing and, and we get to see what all the other teams are doing. Speed isn't the only goal underwater. Accuracy and consistency earn you far more points. The autonomous sub must go in a straight line. Then its eyes and ears must identify and touch the colorful cones beneath the surface. A real world example, finding a plane's black box at the bottom of the ocean. Be able to autonomously uh, send a medic, send first response to, to people in need where we can't get someone there in time. We can get a vehicle there right away and we can do underwater welding to, to do real difficult and dangerous tasks that we might not want people to be involved with. Above ground, these robots could assist the Department of Defense. We have the ability to move him back a little bit so it doesn't cost a life if something doesn't go well. These bots could also just get stuff to us sooner. One of the really cool things that robotics is used for is actually in a if you think of an Amazon and their supply storages, all of, most of that's automated. That's where Amazon really makes most of their money. Texas A&M even has an all-girls team. No telling what these brilliant minds will come up with next. I think we'll probably be pretty surprised at where we see the uses because it's always something that's surprising that's probably going to change lives the most. Impressive and the first place winners get 5,000 bucks and of course bragging rights, but we will not know the winner until Sunday. This event is free and open to the public. I will put more information on CW6SanDiego.com. Netta, back to you. Love the passion out there. Jenny, thanks a lot.